Hello, hello. I am Bridget, and this is Strong J. Get into her. Mm -hmm. She on a feminine journey, too. Yes, yes. She on that feminine journey, boy. She want to be soft. Yes, she does. She wants to be feminine today. She wants to show you she's curly one day and then soft and straight the next day because she got black girl magic. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this part of the video because I am off today. I don't have nothing else to say. I just want y'all to see my hair. So I'm going to just loop this on to the next video when I'm going to look a little different. We got a blowout today. Sean Jay got blown out. Yes, yes, yes. She got blown out. Blowout. Blow. Go ahead on with your blowout, girl. Go ahead on with your blowout. Ooh. Wait a minute. Let me see. Wait for it. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's how you, girl, that's how you do when you get a blowout, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Okay, just that blowout look. Mm. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Be blessed. Hello, hello. I am back with another video. And the purpose of this particular video is to talk about feminine energy and being a goddess, being divinely feminine. You know, a lot of people say that now in the physical reality, and they they say it, but they are not it. They haven't become it, you know? And so when people say, you know, I'm a goddess, I'm a queen, I'm a this, I'm a that, really, it doesn't need to be said verbally if you believe it wholeheartedly, internally, because it's gonna come out. You're gonna grab away, gradually, gravitate to being that looking like that that's what your journey is gonna unfold for you you either are or you are not you know you're either going down the, the narrow road or the broad road it's totally up to you there's two roads diverted robert frost and i i chose the road let's travel by you know so anyway with that being said cleanliness is next to godliness you know being a god goddess is clean <laughs> she has an aura about herself she she she's she's structured she's you know she has discipline self-discipline determination she's soft you know she's organic she's um light-hearted you know even down to her attitude it's not just throwing on makeup and a sexy dress and you know doing your hair different ways basically what i'm saying here in this in this particular video so this video might be a little longer than what my normal videos are but i'm doing this video for my lord self and i want to share with her you know the things that i wish somebody would have shared with me when i was in that place but you know it's, it's still rewarding when you find these things out on your own and you go on a journey it's really way more rewarding when you find them out on your own and go on your own journey but i always wanted a little girl in the physical reality, y'all wasn't ready. The universe wasn't even much ready for a little bitty me walking around here. <laughs> so she's not here. But anyway, I'm going to treat my supporters, my subscribers as my little girls. And we're going to, um, this is what I would tell my daughter. So uh, I have on my paper here some bullet points so I don't forget nothing. Because like I said, this is going to be a thorough video. So we're going to talk about everything from personal hygiene to the look to the attitude even posture we'll start off with posture and I do it all the time I do it all the time I'm so guilty of this posture is energy posture is a perception you know it feels so comfortable for me sometimes to sit up in this chair even you know when my back is not all the way against the back of this chair it feels so comfortable for me to just slump but it also as far as appearance is concerned comes off as me being lazy you know <laughs> but when i sit up straight look at the difference in the energy from me just slumping my back so when I sit up straight, it's like, oh, oh, let's listen to her. Maybe she was about to teach us something. But this one here, like, oh yeah, I done, I done showed y'all everything. Get up out of here. You know? So, I'm about to teach you something. So I'm going to sit up. 
I'm guilty of this one. This is one that I have to constantly remind myself of. There's so many things in the physical reality you have to remind yourself of in the beginning until you master it, and then you can do it free willingly, you know? You remind yourself. So that's just like training a little girl, a little boy to go to the party. You're constantly reminding them of it. Hey, you gotta go pee pee, you know? You remind them, and then they get the, the, um, the notion to, like when they feel the bladder is full, then they know, you know, they don't have to hear somebody saying, you gotta go to the party, they just gonna go. So we gotta do that sometimes until we get to where we wanna be. Anyway, so the first thing is first, bathing. And we're gonna talk about personal hygiene first, bathing. Bathing, first of all, for women, soap knocks off the pH balance of your vagina. Point blank period. If you're using soap, you asking for trouble, especially if you're putting it down there. So instead of using soap, all oils, the, the real oils, the beneficial oils that are good for you, and I do I did a video on all of them already. Just to put in the search bar something about oils. Put the word oils in there because I talk about oils. Anyway, so those are the only the only oils I'm talking about. So all you have to do is choose one of those oils that I spoke of in that video, or maybe two of them if you want more than one, if you want to mix them. But you have to knock down the pH balance of them. And to knock down the pH balance of it, you're going to add maybe some coconut vinegar inside of it. I did a video already, all right? I always talk about coconut video. I mean, uh, vinegar in my videos. So you go look for that. <laughs> You go, go look for that and you put those together and now you knock down the pH balance of your uh, soap because all of these soaps are antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, antiparasitic. That, keep in mind, that's what we used before we had Dove, before we had Caress. We used oils because they were beneficial and they had minerals, like they're, they're green, you know, besides the coconut oil. They're green, you know, they got the magnesium. You can see that the chlorophyll, everything you need, your skin is an organ, but it's slightly acidic. And the vagina is too. So you want your soap or whatever you're putting on your body to, you know, mimic that, that uh, range of pH so that you don't end up with a yeast infection, you know, down there. And I'm saying that because that has everything to do with personal hygiene and why a lot of women you know, when you go to the restroom, you smell a certain kind of way because your pH balance is off. So that's the first thing that I wanted to mention. Your um, your bathing oils or your soap or whatever you're bathing with. So, so the next thing is a slow fin pad or something that you're gonna wipe your skin with instead of a towel. And I use this here just sometimes, not all the time but just like um like on my legs maybe on my arm just to kind of like scrub into my skin just a little bit you know because skin sheds right skin sheds and sometimes you know if we have a scrubbing pad we can help it shed in order to get that fresh that youthful looking skin to come forward so we're still in the shower we want to have in the shower we want to have maybe two or three razors or different razors for different parts of the body. You know, the armpit one, they're really, really cheap. You buy them in bulk, you get the armpit one, the one that you use for, you know, bikini area, and the one for the legs. You wanna do this here maybe every other day, every three days or so, in order to keep, you know, the little peach fuzz and everything from growing. You want to do this here because you don't want to be caught slipping, so to speak. You want, don't want to be, you know, it's time to go swimming and you looking like a wolf underneath your jeans or your shorts or whatever. You want to also have a vanilla foot scrubber, you know, that dead skin. You want to scrub the dead skin off of the, you know, the heel of your foot. And then there is the um, filer, you know, the fingernail filer. Or for your toenails, you use the fingernail, well, a toenail filer 
and you file the top of the toenail. You know, especially the pinky toe that's been housed in all kinds of shoes and rubbing against socks or stockings or, or just the inside of the shoe, you know, that dead skin, that old skin or whatever. File it down, just like at the um, nail to, um, place, they'll have the electric filer and they'll buff your fingernail before, you know, they put on your nail nail or whatever. Well, you want to buff your toenail. And so when you put on your toenail polish, it's nice and smooth and not bulky and clumpy and full of dead skin around it. Because cleanliness is next to godliness. And so I'm saying these things because in the physical reality, you're constantly being judged. You're constantly, I'm being judged on my channel, you know, perception is everything. You're constantly being judged and you're constantly being disqualified by people, by people of the opposite sex. You do it, you know, women do it. Like for example, I share with you all, I don't like seeing men with sagging pants. So instantly in my mind, if somebody is really trying to talk to me, unfortunately, how I program my physical reality is that they are limited if they, if I could see the crack of their butt, you know, like they limited, you know, they disqualify with me. You have your qualifications too. We all have them. So I'm just saying these things in order to get you to a place where you are not capped off or disqualified by so many people to just like, you're a loner, you know, you just getting left behind. So anyway, so I talk about, um, I talked about being in the shower. You got your low, uh, you know, exfoliating little loafer in the shower. Oh, y'all gonna like this one here, that's next. I talked about the toenails, I talked about shaving different, you know, razors, because um, that's just nasty to just have the razor just going everywhere, you can't. And then you on the, you know, vanity or whatever, you have your little small one for your little, your eyebrows or, you know, whatever you're doing in your face. If you got a little uh, peach fuzz that grow or whatever that you don't like, you know, you can have that on the side. So, the next thing you're gonna really like. The next thing is for those of you, for those of you who have like cellulite issues or stretch marks on your body, this is really a good investment. Even when, you young, when you're young and you start getting them because you're gaining and losing weight, but say, pay attention to that weight when you're young because, oh Lord, when you get old, it's hard to lose now. So when you first start to notice those um, stretch marks and, and the cellulite and those um, spider veins that some people be having in the back of their legs and stuff, this is the perfect thing to purchase in order to help with that. These are, um, this is like cupping therapy. And then you get, I got these from Amazon. You get different sizes. It's different sizes. Excuse me. Ooh, my nose is just itching. You get different sizes in the bundle. And so cupping is really good for uh, blood flow and circulation. And um, it'll really help diminish stretch marks and cellulite. And so basically, while you're in the shower, and I mind you, you just use oil on your body so you're nice and wet and oily. And these cuppings are able to stick to your oily, wet, smooth skin really, really hard, right? And so what you do is you let it stick to your skin, but while it's sticking, you move it up and down, and it's going to cause circulation and blood flow, right? You can move it up and down on your legs if that's your problem area. Up and down on your stomach. And I guess if you're going to use a leg, you'll use the biggest, the largest one. This is the one I use the most, the largest one. And you just use it on your leg up and down, up and down, while you're taking a shower. And then what I do after I'm finished, I just put, let me see, let's see. And you just let it sit on you and let blood flow and circulate in that area is going to move or it's going to allow blood to move and so you notice on your legs that they're smoother you know that blood is flowing those veins are you know diminishing they don't, they don't look so spidery or whatever I, I don't i don't have those 
so I'm not really sure what to call it but you'll notice improvement basically is what I'm saying and I feel like this here really really is soothing and relaxing you keep it on maybe about 20 minutes now you keep it on you step out of the shower you keep this on until you finish doing your makeup and so that's pretty much what I do and then you just remove it after you remove it you're gonna have a little um, circle on your body you gonna have a little circle on your body but um that's why you're not gonna put it on the spot where you don't want to circle at. you're gonna put it on the leg spot you know on the hip spot uh on stomach spot a lot of times you know when people go get this type of therapy therapy they just put it on the back and so you'll see people sometimes with those circles on your back that's because they've been doing coupling coupling is really really good for, for um helping to um, detoxify the body because it's, you know, allowing that lymphatic system to move. So that is really, really um, my favorite thing to do. Every time I take a shower, I don't normally let them sit that long or that often. But when I am in the shower, I definitely use that, you know, because it's just like the same as, you know, washing yourself. You, you're just making that up and down motion and you know that blood is circulating because your legs start to get red so i do that that along with um working out really diminishes stretch marks or any kind of fine line or anything that you have on your body yeah <laughs> and you'll be surprised at the results of that so i think that is really really cool so then when you get out of the shower now it's time to do your makeup and for me makeup <laughs> i feel like makeup i feel like less is more so for me i do um i do a little tiny tiny bit of some foundation but first that oil that i told you about that you're gonna make you put the oil on your face your face has to be moisturized before you you, you put your oil i mean before you put your foundation or your cream or whatever on it you know because if not you you look dry you don't know, like almost like the, the dead bodies you know, in a coffin. Sorry, I don't mean to talk about today, people, but they don't be looking too hot sometimes. But um, you put the oil on your face first, and then you put like a little um, a little cream, foundation cream. This is what I use, Huda Beauty, and I'm a um, chocolate mousse is what I use. And so this is this is the powder. They have a powder after to let it set. Now those three things are what you're going to do. If you go do makeup, you need those three things. Don't try to do one without the other. Because it's almost like going to a, um, the little car wash, you know, the little $7 car wash. You just go in there and you let the little brushes do everything. You come out, it's the car clean, right? But you put that car right there that it went through there next to a car that's been detailed and waxed. You know, it's, it's different. It's, it's so different. So you want to do all three. You want some moisture. Then you want to put your light foundation and then you want to put your setting your little powder just make it set and just just be looking Ooh, look at me see that's that's what i got yeah <laughs> and so as far as makeup is, is concerned i believe less is more like i said i believe that um just as long as your lips look nice and moist your face looks healthy you know because it's been waxed instead of just coming out the the, the <laughs> The regular little car wash and you have you some nice um shaped eyebrows i think that, that that's enough that that's enough but if you want to do all the you know the glam colors and stuff like that that that's really cool you know to each his own everybody's at a different different frequency but those things is what i'm saying is is like the minimum the minimum i'm thinking the minimum and for eyelashes, everybody like nice little eyelashes. So for eyelashes, this here is a night cream, well, night serum that you could put. I don't know if you can see this here. Is my camera good or what? You could put this here on your um, eyelashes at night. It's called Grand Lash MD. And so basically, it helps your eyelashes to grow. So you could look like Betty Bob. Go on, Betty. You see Betty? Go on, Betty. Okay, anyway, so that's as far as um, makeup is concerned. And some nice little 
girly looking color um nail polish you know and toenail polish you know nice soft see how soft that is look at my bracelet y'all about this bracelet in my in my jerry box i forgot i even had that but it's so cute somebody gave it to me a long time ago so anyway that's like um you know the soft neutral colors or even reds reds are really hot and sexy too but as far as your makeup is concerned i feel like i said i just feel like um the eyebrows the, you know the soft look the natural look is really good and the lips the lips let's just gotta just, just be moist just be moist you could even put a little sometimes i just put coconut oil or something on my lips this is almost say like moist looking and that that wet look yeah, that's all I know. But you know what I want to say? I would just put this on my lip live. You don't want to put this on when you're out eating at a restaurant, you know? You, you want to go to the restroom. I'm saying this and doing this only because I'm here. But you don't want to do that when you're at a restaurant. You know, on a date, not just a restaurant, on a date. You don't do that in front of your date. And you, you want to not have your cell phone sit in there or you constantly going through your cell phone while he's talking you just get to meet somebody and you you know that that's just that's just not good manners is all i'm saying and speaking of manners we go move back on into this here part speaking of manners too you know how like when you start to meet you know when you evolve to it on a journey you get to another level with men you start to meet higher class men um higher value men in what high healthier men is what i'm saying you meet the healthy men that's going to take you places probably that you ain't never been before and in doing that you need to know the foundation of feminine energy because if you don't know it everybody around you gonna know that you don't it's almost like you know how like they have all of the you know this different silverware and stuff on the table and um in a couple of people out you know having dinner and and everybody is, you know, already been high class for years or whatever. And then there's this new person. You're, you're, you and I, we'll, we'll say you and I, we're going to represent the new person. And let's say you and I would say, why do you have all this silverware here? Y'all wasting dishes. I just need a fork. You know, and now everybody at the table just looks at you and, <laughs> and they're laughing. You know, they're laughing. They're laughing at you, not with you. It's almost like the perception is like judging you or saying to themselves, um, <laughs> she doesn't know, you know, she's, she doesn't belong here. You know, it's that all bougie stuff or whatever, but that, that's just happening. People judge you, people just judge you. So it's just, it's just bad to test, it's just bad to test. If you want to, you can fail a test if you want to, you don't care. This is your reality. You create your own reality, babe. Just live your best life. I'm just sharing this because, um, because I feel like um, little black girls, they don't go to little um, femininity courses and, and they don't understand that when they sit, they should have good posture and that the, their feet at the bottom should be crossed over, you know, as if they're closing, keeping their legs closed, you know, like even when we take pictures on our social media and stuff and we'll see some women who turn around so you can see they butt, you know, or they'll take a picture for, forward and their legs, their legs will be gapped open, spaced open. Like, no, no, cross that leg, close that leg, you know, don't open that leg. That's your, that's, that's the, that's the entryway to the kingdom, the kingdom of God, <laughs> the portal of life, you know. So you want to keep that closed because you want to keep your, your innocence and your femininity. This is what femininity is all about. And being a goddess. Is, 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 is knowing that you're delicate, you know, you're a treasure, you know, and so we do the things on the outside to be that, and then we get into that um, knowing of that, and then, so now after you do those things, the outside and the inner work, you are that, you have become that, and everyone around you will feel your aura, your energy, because it is so strong, it is so loud, you know, but yet at the same time, it is so soft, you see? So, anyway, so back to in the shower. We're in the shower, we put the um, cuppings on, we did the makeup, 
fresh breath. Fresh breath is important. And I don't I don't like um gum because gum is, you know, I'm health conscious, y'all. Gum not good for you. You just wasting those digestive enzymes and all that saliva secretion making you hungry and all that for nothing, you know. I need my my, my, my enzymes and my secretions. <laughs> So I don't I don't chew gum, but when I do brush my teeth with non-fluorinated toothpaste, of course. Afterwards, I use food grade hydrogen um, peroxide. I talked about that already on my videos. Y'all gotta watch the old videos. I'm not gonna be pulling that stuff out all the time. So, and then you so you just spray it in your mouth, and it's like your gargoyle. It's like your mouth wash. It's killing the bacteria, the bacteria that's on your tongue. Now, the tongue is a mirror to your digestive system, though. So, if your breath is foul and your tongue has, you know, that white thrash-type coating on it, that, that's just letting you know that your diet needs to be cleaned up. But, we're not going to do that in one day. That's a journey in its own. So, do the hydrogen peroxide. And not only gargle with it, but take the toothbrush and brush with it. You know, whiten your teeth with it and then spit it out. Don't let it get to the back of your throat though because it's going to make you gag. So you do that and instead of gum to have something with you, like, you know, those health food stores that we have in the, um, the little mints. They're really expensive for the little mints. But the mints be, um, you know, uh, healthier than a regular peppermint candy. You know, the red and white one that's just full of sugar. You know, it's healthier than the chewing gum that's messing with your digestive enzymes. So those little mints I get, I have some, but I ain't about to go get that. But yeah, carry that on you, cause first breath, you know, you you want to be a divine goddess, but you know, you want you want you want you you want to be a sweet smelling savior, you know, <laughs> like Jesus, you be like Jesus. Okay, let's see what else I have on my bullet points. I talked about um, oh, and so. Lotion. I can help you with that. I can help you with that. This is my website for some lotion to put on your body. So you, now you you took the bath. Your pH balance is on point. Now you want to put some lotion on. You want to put some lotion on your skin to make your skin nice and soft. You want to have soft hands. Yeah, you want to have soft hands. You never know when you're going to shake the hands of your, your next boyfriend or, or boss or... or friend or husband so your hands your hands should be soft yeah bees body butter can help you with that okay so the next thing i have is your voice your voice should be soft your voice should be soft your voice should be sweet your voice should be feminine it should not be loud and screaming girl what's the matter with girl look at here look at here you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying no we don't know we don't know what you're saying mm -mm, we don't we'd be trying to figure you out but girl it's a lot so anyway the next thing oh and so when you're at a restaurant and how you hold a champagne glass you know like with red um wine in it versus you holding a glass with a with a stem at the bottom you know so you want to hold it you want to hold it in a feminine way with a little pinky. Let the little pinky just dangle in the air. You know, this is feminine energy. Even how you touch yourself. When you touch yourself, it makes other people want to touch you. So every now and then, you just touch yourself. Mm -hmm. Just touch yourself. Because you're so soft. Look how soft you are. Mm -hmm. Other people wonder. I wonder how she, I wonder how she feels. <laughs> so you really the body language you really igniting them their senses you know you're touching and there's something how human nature works you touch yourself and you're igniting other people's senses just like if i was eating something right now you you your, your saliva your um salivary glands would begin to like activate if you saw the like the ketchup or whatever if i was eating a burger and saw it dripping you know whatever and I'll say, mm -hmm, this is so delicious. And then you'll be like sitting on the other side and all your taste buds and got activated. You'll be like, oh yeah, that looks so good. Girl, you're making me hungry. See, we, that's how our energy just 
phones back because energy is not destroyed. It simply transforms. So touch yourself. It's going to make people want to touch you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, a smile. A smile is really important in your um, feminine journey because even smiling at people you don't know, especially. Even... <laughs> Even if your smile is not the best, still smile. You know how they have actors or whatever that you see on on TV. I don't even know this man's name. Oh Lord, his 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 he look horrible. But he just be smiling, and he he an actor. He a very 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 famous actor. But he never got his teeth fixed. But he still smiles, and that. What I'm saying here is whether or not your teeth look good or not. By the mere fact that you're smiling and you're showing people, oh, that's confidence. It might be saying, Lord, you know, she don't have the best teeth, but, but she does have laughter in her. She does know how to be confident. So I would say smile and get your teeth fixed if they really, really bad, but still smile. Smiling is inviting. Just like your eyes, looking at somebody eye to eye, you know, that eye contact is like a window to your soul, you know, or smiling is like inviting too for your soul and your spirit. Anyway, I talked about posture. Let's see. Sunglasses. Now, I don't believe in sunglasses, especially being that I'm melanated in my, um, the color of my eyes already, it has melanin inside of it and it protects me from the rays. I only have one pair of sunglasses. The only reason why I'm saying sunglasses is for those days when you don't feel like putting on the makeup. When you don't feel like putting on makeup because you don't want to leave, ever leave the house if your divine God is looking crazy with your hair just all over your head or whatever and no makeup on like you did not like you know like your like your servants never came to assist you in the morning how about that <laughs> so the glasses if you have some sunglasses just one little pair at least one little pair you could put them on your eyes they big enough to cover up your eyebrow that you didn't feel like, you know, contouring and, you know, making points on and fixing today. It's big enough to cover that. And if you have, you know, dark circles underneath, it's big enough to cover that too. Now you throw them sunglasses on, you put some coconut oil on them lips. And hopefully you come to hear them. But I'm just saying, I'm saying face. Oh, please come here. Yeah. But then you were able to just go out to the store without, you know, putting the work into doing all the makeup. If that's if you just need to get one thing, but I would suggest that you do not leave the store. I mean, leave the house. <laughs> Looking in the kind of way. That means having robe on. That means the socks with the slippers, the comfortable, whatever, with a little bitty hole in it. That means all that. That means pretty much throw that stuff away, so you can't depend upon it. Throw away all of those holy jogger pants. They'd be so comfortable. I got a pair that that have paint on them. Oh, Cause I was painting with them one day. I keep them in case. I keep that one pair in case you know I do something dirty or go in the garden. Just have one pair. But I used to have a lot of those things. But I don't put it on a hanger. I tuck it away from myself. To remind myself, no, we're not going to wear this every day. <laughs> no, I know they're comfortable. And every other pair I threw out. And so in lieu of having those type of things, you want to get some sexy goddess type lingerie, you know. You want to also throw away the mama drawers. Let's, let's talk about that while I'm talking about, you know, the baggy pants and holy shirts and stuff like that. Throw away the grandma draws. You know them grandma draws? Because grandma, bless her soul, in another round, you know, if your grandma passed like mine has, she might be in another round trying to fight for you, you know, and to help you and support you in all other kind of areas of your life. But you confusing her because you got her draws on. And she's like, what? I'm tapped into all knowing. 
And I don't know what she doing where my dogs are now. She really confusing me. So let, let Grandma help you and take Grandma drawers off. Just take her drawers off. She she trying to she trying to help you get a man in, but she wants you to take her drawers off. And instead of <laughs> and instead of wearing grandma drawers, we can <laughs> I'm sorry. And instead of wearing grandma drawers, we could evolve to the next level in our journey and wear some bones or some more shorts. Or I could Oh, what happened? Hey, hey, Lucy Goosey, girl, go ahead on, go ahead on. I knew you was Lucy. Anyway, so I talked about posture. I talked about the sunglasses inside of your car. This, this, this In your car and in your bathroom, those two places that as a feminine woman, you should keep those areas clean. You need to keep that clean because you don't know who coming over to use the restroom. You don't know who going to get in your car. Don't get bonsai. I'm not saying that you need to go outside in the heat and wash the outside of it. But the inside of it, you can get some, you can pay somebody to wash the outside of it. You know, but the inside of that car, that inside of that car needs to smell fresh. It, you can wipe them, you can wipe that um, dashboard down. That center console don't have to have bobby pans and, and rollers and, and McDonald's french fries in it, you know. Have that car, no matter if it's new or old, have the inside of that car, what you spending your time at, looking good and clean and smelling good. Because it reflects you, who you are. Even your trunk. Bring that stuff that's in that trunk in your house. Your trunk of your car should not have all kind of situations going on. It should not. Your bathroom with the rollers and all that. Get a get a little vanity and put it somewhere where you have your little makeup just all on the top of the vanity. But your 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 um your sink and the bathroom sink and you know the counter space where you brush your teeth or whatever, that area should be clean. That toilet, that tub from when you shave and stuff, all that should be clean. Because you never know who's coming to use your restroom. And it's not about other people. It is about your house and your car being your comfort zone. How is a goddess going to feel and be goddess, a goddess or feel comfortable in the midst of chaos? The energy around you says a lot about you. So even if it's just like once a week you delegate. You delegate, um, or better yet, take time to do these particular tasks, like Wednesday and Saturday, cleaning the car and cleaning the house, you know, and doing your nails, maybe, you know, touching up on different things, whatever, with your body and with your your environment, you know. You want to keep these things touched up on. Make a schedule if you have to. I don't know how you gonna do it. Yeah, I know you're busy. I'll be busy too, but um, sometimes you just got to stop. You got to stop and, and, and pay attention to what is representing you. You know, you want to represent yourself to its fullest for you first and then the other people in the world can see. Okay, so I talked about the inside of the closet bathroom. Oh, the wet wipes. Oh, I'm going to have to get up because y'all got to see. Y'all gotta see. I'll be right back. Right back. Alright. So I'm back. Some wet wipes. And see these here? These are herbal baby wipes. Herbal baby wipes. And they have some really good ingredients in here. They have some really good re ingredients in here. In lieu of the little toxic ones. Because, you know, like, um, it's better not to have no kind of wet wipes in your toilet room. And then to have some toxic ones up in there. Because if that's the case, you just wipe your butt with some, you know, dry toilet paper. <laughs> because your butt, if any of that juice from them toxic wet wipes get inside of your booty hole, it goes directly into your bloodstream. This is like why um, people that, you know, you know, be sticking things up there that don't belong, you know, to men. Why they're at the highest risk of, you know, catching HIV or whatever because what goes up in that goes straight to the bloodstream. So 
You don't want no toxic wipes back there is what I'm saying. If you have toxic wipes, use the toilet paper. But I'm saying use some type of wipe because if you're wearing boy shorts and you're wearing thongs, you know that thong is going up there. And so now you have stinky thongs, you know, after you, you know, did the do. So you don't want to have stinky thongs, you know, because you carry, it's like you carry it with you. And the dry toilet paper is not getting rid of the, the do that you just did, you know. So those are really good. And you know what? If you have children, get your children some herbal wipes. You know, sometimes we're late bloomers. I wish I would have did this with my boys. But just think about the fact that children or babies can't speak. You know, just think about that for a moment. So it's crazy. They can't speak and you're putting, um, we're rather, putting these toxic baby wipes on in babies' vaginas or if they're the boy on his little pee pee and on his butthole and it's, it could possibly get in his little booty hole and he wah, wah, he's saying stop you know go get you some herbal wipes is what he's saying poor baby anyway get the babies some good wipes because the baby's booties are delicate please do it for the babies do it for the babies just do it for the babies you you can walk around with with with, with thank you thumbs on if you want to but at least don't get something in the baby booty okay anyway Let's see. So we talked about the underwear and the deodorant, or the aluminum free deodorant. I use this one from this company called Schmidt, I think it's called. It is the only one that I found that has really good ingredients in it and it smells really good. Now I make normally my own deodorant but i make so much stuff till sometimes something goes you know undone because i'd be busy sometimes and it's probably the deodorant because that'll go undone because other things or products and deodorant is not on my website and so when i'm not when i don't have any of mine in stock this is my go-to one i think it's called schmidt let me run and get it i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm gonna right back okay i'm sorry i think i'm saying this right Smiths. Smiths. I think I'm saying that right. Let's see. Can you see that? Okay. So, this is really good. And it has lime. Remember about the pH, you know? So, it caught my eye. Well, actually, it caught my son's eye because of the lime. Because you could actually use lime, you know, split a key lime and put that underneath your own pit. Oh, it's, it's, it's like a natural deodorant. But this one here smells really, really good. It has good ingredients. Oh, see? Can you see? It has good ingredients inside of there. I like the ingredients in it, and it's, um, it's supposedly a new magnesium enriched formula. Yeah. So, magnesium is important for your armpit and the. Um, pH level of it. Sodium bicarbonate is really important for us too. It has that inside of there. So um, I really like this one here. I really like it. Y'all might want to check that out. That one is really good. So let's see. We talked about, did we talk about nails? Nails. I talked about the nail polish. I know that. But just keep your nails polished nice and neat. Um, your walk. <laughs> see, this is the part right here. If I had a daughter. Ooh. Your walk, yeah, your walk, keeping them legs together when you walk, and you do heel toe, heel toe. And so, when you're walking, it's almost like your hips, your your hips, when you do heel toe, heel toe, and one foot is in front of the other, kind of like how Beyonce walk, but not as hard. You want to glide with it, you want to glide with it. It's you, you probably already have this walk going on when you have heels on. But this walk should be slow. This walk should be, <laughs> it's like delicate, like the goddess is coming. You should not rush for nobody. If men or even when, if you're with a bunch of women, they're like, come on here, girl. Like, go ahead, I'll get there. If they're not gonna wait for you, go ahead, I'm coming. And you still get your gracefulness on, baby. Don't rush for nobody. What a goddess gotta gotta rush for? 
<laughs> She's infinite intelligence. What is she rushing for? There is no end. So, anyway, make sure that walk. Oh, I'm going to have to walk for y'all one day. Oh, I'm going to have to walk. Because, like, I have the walk. I have the walk down path. I, I feel because I'm embodied by this 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 divine feminine. I got the walk down path. I'm just saying. I'm not being braggadocious, but huh. girl, look, you better work it with that walk. You who? Okay. So I talked about the file on top of the toenails and dead skin on the heels of the feet. The hair colors. Do what you will with your hair. But I personally believe that black and like blonde and honey um, blonde are the same colors. The red and the purple and the green and Mardi Gras looking hair. Yeah. It depends upon what you're trying to attract. But um, a lot of healthy men, well, most healthy men don't, don't want that in their the life. They don't want that in their life. I need it in my life. Remember that? Okay. So, let me see, did I get everything? Oh, and bras, bras. Throw out old faithful bra and get you colorful bras that fit. Your, your boobs are probably not the same size that they were when you had your baby. Or, you know, they, they grow. They grow and they shrink when you lose weight and gain weight. Your boobs do so too. So get you some really nice bras that uh, give you a nice little lift. And that you could fit and so saying speaking like you're feminine you know letting a guy know like on a date for example that you're feminine it's like saying something as simple as like if he asks you where you want to go or whatever once y'all hook up or whatever you just simply say well I was thinking that you should lead and I follow Boy, let me tell you, everybody, I say that all the time when I go on a date. Everybody that I ever say that to, they be like, you see that there? You see that? in their own little masculine, but you see that there? That's what I like about you. You know, they like that. They love it, actually. And so, I talk about throwing away old outfits. And wearing sexy, flowing dresses. Even if it's like a pantsuit, just let it flow. Let it not be too tight. Like this here, the rumper that I have on, it's flowing. You know, it's not gathered tight on me. And shoes. Shoes say a lot about you too, you know. Just like, um, just like you pay attention to men's shoes, you know. Like healthy, more successful men. They have some sharp shoes. Oh my God. Sometimes I just go in the men's shoe store and I just be looking and be like, oh, those are really, really nice. Because it's something about a man with, with nice shoes on. I don't know. And, a, and this, don't talk about if he have a belt that, that's coordinated with the shoes, you know, the same color. I think that is really, really sexy. And so I feel like for a woman, too, your shoes should be really, really sexy and comfortable, too. I like heels. I don't wear heels every day, but at nighttime, over the nighttime, night. It's the right time to be the one you love, baby. I don't know where that came from, but I just had to get it out. Anyway, like so if you want to do something comfortable, do something comfortable with a little point. These are my little comfortable pointy shoes. But at nighttime, do something sexy, fierce. If you don't maybe like a um, professional... Um, date or whatever these are these are really cool if you're going dancing or whatever i will wear this here because you know the shoe won't be you know coming off your feet while you're dancing these are by jessica i think jessica my sister and she don't even know it because <laughs> i love her shoes and this is like more um professional this is like professional right here the heel is not much either so you can really walk in it it's true. When you can walk in and see, they have a point on it. But like, if you about to shut it down, these are my favorite little heels. I just got these here not too long ago. If you want to go shut something down or whatever, 
Last but not least, your smell. We talked about your breath, getting that in check where it's smelling good. We talked about, about the JJ because of your soaps and stuff where it's smelling good. We talked about your deodorant, getting a help, some key lines, just some healthy deodorant, everything about you got to smell good. But last but not least, that perfume. <laughs> You ever had, you ever dated a man that had this scent, this scent on him that you remember for the rest of your life? Oh Lord Jesus, why did he do that? Because this scent, every time you smell it, it brings a memory to you of the moment you was with that man. See, see, scents are tied to our memory. And you want to be unforgettable in every way. Okay, I don't know why I'm taking the phone today. But, um, I'm about to pull out. Let me tell you, let me warn y'all. If y'all don't have no money, this y'all go past the video. Not nah, because these are kind of expensive. But, get somebody to buy it for you. If you can't buy it, get somebody else to buy it. But I'm going to throw in a little unex inexpensive one. I'm going to throw in a little inexpensive one. So, these are my perfumes. I'm going to start with the little cheapy, cheapy one. Well, it's not really that cheap, but a sinner. Have you ever wanted to just be a sinner on purpose? Ooh, ooh, ooh. just go on and sin, girl, girl, girl. God, don't forgive you. Just go on and sin. <laughs> Look at this right here. This little magic potion. Don't it look like a little potion? Like, <laughs> okay. Anyway, Sinner. Sinner smells really good. Sinner is under a hundred dollars. Sinner is one of my perfumes that I like to buy. This is like an everyday, but it has this softness. Feminine smell, so I love that. The rest of mine are from a little addiction that I have, y'all. I'm a little addicted to this one line of perfume called Bomb Number Nine. Lord Jesus, I'm addicted. And I don't need to be calling on Jesus, but we go calling for that because I'm addicted to Jesus. Whew. So. I get these here from, I don't know, from this place called Saks Fifth Avenue here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Is Saks other places? I don't even know. I know I got one. So when you get these, you want to get some samples of other kinds or whatever. And you can do your little samples, like you can put your little sample spray in your car. You know, just spray your little little um, rug whatever in your car when you're trying to get a good little smell or whatever they gave me a sample of um what is this madison avenue i don't really care for that different one but i, I put it in my car though it's still soft but it's just not something i put on me. all right so buy number nine addiction number one this is my first baby gift this is my first baby lord this is the first one that i got that had me addicted to her love and it's called Gold Coast. Gold Coast. This perfume right here is so soft, so sweet. And the thing about Bond Number Nine, oh my goodness, this is like hmm, fresh air, like not New Orleans air. This is like it's like Miami air, like right there on the beach, just like. And hear the microbes and stuff that be in the air, like that fresh oxygen, you know. Not not New Orleans. Don't come, don't come to New Orleans expecting this here kind of air. Ooh, 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 you will be sent home when you get down there. Perfect, Lord Jesus. But this Gold Coast is really good. Now the thing about Bond Number Nine is that it has this oud huh, inside of it. You want to get 
perfumes that have oud inside of it. Oud is like a aphrodisiac type of, oh, it's like, kind of like, you know, how we have pheromones, like, it just make the, it just make you just roam that person. Oh my goodness, if you want to be roaming, this is a good investment. It's not cheap. It's a good investment. But you go get worn it. I mean, you, yeah, you're going to be worn it after this. So that was Gold Coast. This is green, which, and I'm doing these in order. This one here I like better than that one. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, Lord. So B, this is soft. This is soft too. My Green Witch and my Gold Coast are soft. I, so that's daytime. That's daytime. This is daytime. So in the daytime, we have your flats on. We have your flats on. And we have your little bit of earrings. You know, and you like makeup. And you could do something like this. Or your center. Or you could even do a little, I have a little Jessica Simpson little mist. You know, that when you get out of the shower, you can do that sometimes if you want to. Or you could put the mitts in the car. That's what you do in the daytime. But Lord, when it's time to go out at night, you want to put them heels on, and now you want to put the long earrings, and you want that neck to be able to be seen, and you want to touch yourself, and you might want to wear a red dress, and you might want to wear the red lipstick too, and make sure that you have some moisture on it, and just, ooh. When you at that point, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the one, y'all. Look at this here. This look like it, 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 it's something about it, huh? It's like, it reminds me of Jesus. Like, you know, like, I don't know, like the Catholic Church or something, like the blood of the Lamb or something. <laughs> like, I don't know, like the presentation of it is just like, is this like something you see in Catholic Church? What am I thinking about? The little hats? The little things that the priest wear? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> oh! Hey, look at that. It ain't even in here. Because this one here is unisex. <laughs> this one here is unisex. And my boys take it from me. So hold on. Let me go get it out of my boy room. Alright. <laughs> so. Now I gotta do the presentation all over again because this is this one here it has anointing on it. The, the anointing is on this one here. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this one here, y'all. Oh my God. I don't know. It's just so heavenly to me. So Jesusy to me. So it makes me want to sing that song. Something about the name Jesus. Remember that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name <laughs> that I know. It's called Bond Number Nine, the boy. Ruby. Ruby is what it's called. You see it up there? Ruby. Ruby. Oh, Ruby. This here, right here. Like I say, y'all, men, you go get this one. Dip. Man, if you get this here, I'm telling you, them women gonna be like. <laughs> I'll never forget when my son, when my son was a baby, he didn't know how to say, could I go outside? He would put group the words together. So he would say, could I could go outside, mom? Men, if you have this here cologne on, I know for me, I can't speak for other women, but for me, it makes me want to ask. And I don't even do like booty calls and stuff like that, but it makes me want to ask. <laughs> could I could come and sleep by your house tonight? <laughs> could, could, could you hold me? Could you hold me ever so gently? This stuff right here is for date night, on blank period. Date night. This, it, you know, why uh, I shook my head because I'm like, why is my boys taking this? But I told him it was unisex, but they, and they really like it. But I'm thinking, are they going on dates? That's, that's what I was just thinking. I'm going to find out who they did. Anyway, that's not part of this video. But this stuff is so, 
so good. Oh my God, it is so good. It is my favorite. But I'm addicted to these bombs because they are addictive. They get those senses and get you in that feel, in that feeling. And then oh, when I get that feeling, I want sexual feeling. This one here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop today. But I just gave y'all something that I wish somebody would have gave me a long time ago. And ooh, you know what your perfume? You know what you could do with your perfume? Yeah, um, especially if you have the little samples. If you have the samples, like that they give you at the little, at the store, you can put your little samples, leave a little bit of that scent with him, on him, like, you know, just you spray a little bit on you and then before you sleep and I'm telling you good night you you touch him. Oh stop <laughs> Oh stop while you put your your scent for the night on him. And he could be thinking about you when he go to take that shirt off or whatever and wash that that shirt or whatever. Oh my gosh, he smells so good. And he'll remember you because the smell is linked to senses. Okay. I think we did good today. This is a long video, longer than I normally do, but um, I feel like it covered a lot as far as femininity is concerned, or as far as being um, a divine feminine, remembering that cleanliness is next to godliness. So if you pay attention to those things, even with your hair, I didn't get into hair because we're sensitive about our hair. but. The gels that you use in your hair, they're caking up, you know, you might want to smooth that out. You want to be soft at all times. You want to look at yourself before you leave the house, up and down. If you have a little snag in something, you know, cut that off. If you see the straps hanging out, you know, fix that before you leave the house. This video was 100%, like all of my videos, from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe. Thank <laughs> you.